Welcome back, I'm Angelique Campbell. Today we are going to learn about a very important autonomous driving technology that is common all around us. Let's learn about sensors. As a person, you use your eyes, ears, hands, and even your nose to get around. Self-driving cars use sensors to understand their surroundings while driving. That's why sensor technology is the backbone of autonomous driving technology. Self-driving car sensors typically consist of cameras, radar, and LiDAR. These sensors have their own advantages and disadvantages. So they are applied together in a complex way rather than just depending on one, like forks, spoons, and knives. Each one is special, but when you put them together, you can eat anything. Let's take a closer look at them one by one. First, there's the camera sensor. The camera sensor acts like a human eye. It recognizes the complex environment in front of it, like lanes, traffic lights, signs, and pedestrians. As the camera sensor evolves, the number of recognizable objects increases, and the accuracy also increases. When autonomous driving reaches level four, the camera sensor can distinguish between lanes, as well as stop lines, pedestrian crossings, and even arrow indicators on the road's surface. Amazingly, you can check whether the person in front of you is pushing a stroller or riding in a wheelchair. Camera sensors are key sensors for autonomous driving, but they are subject to the same issues human face when lighting conditions change in such a way where the subject matter becomes clouded. Think of situations where strong shadows or bright lights from the sun or oncoming cars may cause confusion. Therefore, most autonomous cars use radar in front of the car for additional input. A radar sensor gathers information such as distance, speed, and direction from an object by emitting electromagnetic wave signal. It does lack precision in recognizing the shape of an object. However, what's good about radar is that it can deliver credible information under all different weather conditions. Also, its response rate is so fast. Depending on the frequency, the radar sensors can detect objects at short, medium, and long distances. Currently, it is applied to various ATIS technologies such as emergency automatic braking and smart cruise control. Remember ATIS? Advanced Driver Assistance System. Medium to long range radar sensors measure distances and speed from the car in front of you to avoid collisions. It is mainly used in FCA, Front Collision Avoidance Technology. Short range radar sensors are mainly used in BSD, Blind Spot Detection. The most important role of radar sensors is their ability to distinguish between the target and other objects next to it. Are you still with me? The last is the LiDAR sensor, which is becoming more popular as the core sensor of autonomous driving. The LiDAR sensor is a sensor that shoots lasers pew, 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 and moving at the speed of light and extracts information by measuring the time differences that bounces back. High resolution 3D space information can be obtained and the error range is only in centimeters. It's very precise. However, the LiDAR sensor also has its drawbacks. It's expensive, so it can take longer to become more common. Interference and jamming are another potential issue with LiDAR as these systems roll out more broadly. LiDAR and radar have similar names and characteristics, but they still have a few differences. Unlike radar, which is based on electromagnetic waves, LiDAR is laser-based. LiDAR can provide more precise 3D geometric data. However, LiDAR is affected by the environment, but radar is only influenced a little by the environment. Also, as opposed to radar, which has already been distributed at low prices, LiDAR will take some time to become more affordable. Today, we learned about the sensor technology that becomes the eyes and ears of autonomous vehicles. Don't forget that this combination of technologies require the perfect autonomous driving technology to be achieved. I'll be here next time to 
share with you the auto technology that makes our lives easier. This was Angelie Campbell. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing.